Greetings viewers, welcome back to the Coffee Chill channel and welcome to Golden Beach Caloundra. Shortly we'll be off to the Caloundra Air Museum, but for now, please enjoy the view. And welcome inside the Queensland Air Museum. First aircraft actually built here in Caloundra. Let's check it out. And this is the famous F-111, famous for Australia anyway. This plane, this fighter jet was in commission for many many decades uh, for the uh, Royal Australian Air Force. Versatile and durable and reliable fighter jet, the F-111. So fantastic storyboards throughout here at the Queensland Air Museum and descriptions and uh, not just planes, uh, background stories, uniforms and uh, all matters related to uh, aircraft and aircraft history here. If you like your planes, like I do, you'll have a whale of a time here. So photos there, the cross at Nui Dat. I've actually been to the battlefield, Long Tan in Vietnam, down to Vung Tau. In addition to the storyboards, you've also got uh, video storytelling here on different screens too. Well, check out the courtyard. Certainly one for plane buffs like me. Uh, lots of Australian Royal Air Force hardware out here. You can see the kangaroo. So here's the caribou uh, used in Vietnam and in uh, Malaysia as well. Uh, yeah. It's quite a large, uh, quite a large plane. The caribou. Let's have a look inside. Inside the caribou. Could probably use your imagination. In here, off uh, on your next assignment. And here's some of the uh, 38 Squadron Royal Australian Air Force Caribou details for you. Turn 80 kilometers an hour, so it can clip along. So there's a blast from the past. TAA, Trans Australian Airlines. Uh, before Qantas, 
there was TAA. And there you go, let's check out the cockpit in here. Pretty snug. Pretty snug. So as you can probably see, there are a lot of planes at the Queensland Air Museum. Will I take you inside and show you all of them? No, I won't. You'll have to come here yourself if you get a chance. Um, but it certainly is, wow, it's amazing. Great historic history here. One I will show you is the Fokker Friendship. I remember the Fokker Friendship uh, in the 70s. Very popular plane in commercial use and uh, yeah, here's an old Fokker friendship now. So the Royal Flying Doctor Service of Australia. This is a de Havilland aircraft and um, you know, still doing wonderful work, the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Uh, out to rural communities uh, where there aren't hospitals, etc. And um, yeah, here's one of their uh, decommissioned planes. And it's a beautiful day in Calandra as well, I have to say. And bonjour to my French speaking subscribers and here's a de Havilland that was uh, produced for French requirements it's a beauty isn't it single prop single propeller very handsome looking plane So you've got some smaller commercial aircraft uh, on the lawn here at the Queensland Air Museum here in Caloundra. And we're popping over to a Cessna very popular commercial aircraft, certainly in Australia, the Cessna. And here's a Mohawk, there you go. And you got your fighter jet. And here there's a, a load there, some lead that could be dropped. One of the great things about this museum is a lot of these aircrafts are under active reconstruction. Some of them have been completed to, uh, to where they will sit, but some you get to actually have a look at while they're still uh, undergoing uh, reconstruction and repair. So you're almost like walking into a, uh, a workshop. Uh, so there you go, fantastic.
Well, there you go, in the Navy, you can sail the seven seas and put your mind at ease. So when you visit a place like this, for me, and to be philosophical about it, this is a much better use for these uh, retired aircraft than to, um, you know, to be used for scrap metal. I mean, it's fantastic. This is, uh, this is kind of, you know, active, active art and uh, great history. I love flying, I love airplanes, and um, this is a fantastic place, it really is. So you got your little glider uh, up here as well and some very small uh, choppers and a larger one at the back. ANSET, another uh, airline that no longer flies, ANSET and TAA. So there's an old ANSET chopper. Yeah, some people call the Korean War the Forgotten War, and um, there it is, 1950-1953, and uh, yeah, Australia was in there, uh, in the Korean War. Let's have a look at the cockpit of this plane. And this is a museum uh, basically manned by volunteers, retirees, very knowledgeable they are as well. And uh, they're very happy for you to photograph and film to your heart's content. So if you do like videoing and doing photographs, uh, help yourself here at the Queensland Air Museum in Caloundra. And let's check out this cockpit. And for those of you who are a little bit more mechanically minded than yours truly, uh, any uh, budding, serving, retired engineers, you, know, you can actually see the, uh, the engines out on display and uh, related hardware, propellers and axles. And uh, yeah, it's all here as you literally walk underneath the planes. Fantastic. So you got Air Force, Navy and Army flight craft here on show in the museum.
famous tiger moth. Hashtag discover aviation history. Thumbs up if you're enjoying this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Helps the algorithm of the Coffee Chill TV station on the YouTube. So there you go. This, this museum's got a thumbs up from me, that's for sure. So there's your hawker hunter. Served in a few campaigns did the hawker hunter. So you got the Iroquois there, certainly a very active duty for the Iroquois in the Vietnam War. So inside the little theatre here, they show short films. I won't be watching any today, but uh, you can come by and check them out yourself. But you now there's just a variety of displays here. It's wonderful. So you've got a mix of the old and the new uh, in the museum too. It's a great mix, it really is. A, all different types of displays. You know, the, the planes are the stars, the planes and the helicopters, etc. But um, uh, these storyboards, these photos, um, and the interactive parts are also fantastic. So there you go folks, the Queensland Air Museum. I hope you enjoyed my visit to the Queensland Air Museum. It is uh, run as a not-for-profit, volunteer, retirees, very knowledgeable, very uh, passionate, enthusiastic about what they're doing. Aircraft coming in all the time. Um, so if you've been here once, uh, you should come back again and see the latest displays. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time on the Coffee Chill channel. Cheers.